continue to tell the incredible stories of the LGBTQ community this Pride Month. Our Taylor Lumpkin takes us to a small bookshop in Milwaukee that's been fighting to stay alive and be a respite for those on their queer journeys. On a quiet street at the corner of Murray and Park Place lies a hidden gem, Outwards Books. It's the one and only LGBTQ bookstore in Milwaukee. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's owned by Carl Zatmary, who nearly three decades ago opened the store with his then business partner on a hot July summer day in 1993. So I had 13 cases of books that got delivered the day that we opened. And um, it, it was crazy and wild and a lot of fun. After working for Webster's Books in the early 90s in the LGBTQ section, Zat Mary, an openly gay man, was inspired to run a primarily queer bookstore of his own, giving customers a place to freely be who they are. I've, uh, I've been friends with a number of librarians over the years, and gay books are amongst the most stolen. And that's because people are embarrassed to buy them. He has everything from gay and lesbian fiction novels to coming out literature, LGBT mysteries, and more. I immediately knew that this was a place where I didn't have to put on airs or try and act straight or anything of that. I knew this is a place where I could just be natural. Larry Wheelock has been a customer for almost 29 years and says places like these are a safe haven for people young and old. They don't have to worry about what the clerk's going to say to them when they bring something up to the counter. They don't have to worry that someone's going to judge them for what they're buying. But as the popularity of online retailers and ebooks grow, Zat Mary says keeping his business up and running is getting tough. We're reliant on people who still like to have a printed book in their hands. Which is why there's such a push to keep places like this that have already done so much for the LGBTQ community alive. So it becomes more and more difficult to run a niche bookstore like this, but I think that just makes the need for them even greater. I would uh, encourage people to stop in and see what we're all about. In Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.